So it's going to be really hot next few days. The last, certainly the last week, I've had a lot of calls about um, low oxygen, nitrites, all manner of different things to do with water quality. And uh, there's a number of things to bear in mind. One, and it's actually happening on a few well-managed waters as well, quite often the usual suspects where no one ever does anything and then they just worry that things are going to, you know, they'll just wing it and then something goes wrong and they panic. You know, those people, are, you can never, never get through to those people. But it's now happening on a number of well-managed waters where people are losing the odd fish and the, the fish are struggling. <clears throat> One of the main things is you've got to remember, we're not having cold winters. We haven't had a decent winter for a lot, lot of years now, to be fair. And with water levels rising and falling, if you've got low water and there's no bankside vegetation, useful, useful plants, and we do preach about plants all the time, but if you've got a real decent amount of plants around your lake, they're acting like a sponge and they're soaking up phosphorus and nitrogen which algae is feeding on so that's a really really good thing to do moving forward um for now obviously if you if you're in, in in a bit of bother now you can you look at emergency aeration you look at um stopping any fishing you know limiting stress everything's to do with stress so the more stress of any kind you put the fish through the more they're going to struggle so definitely uh, bear that in mind you can set pumps up get aeration involved if anyone catches a fish at this time of year, if it looks in any way, shape or form that it's not right, don't get it out and put it on a mat and then ring your mates and say, what's wrong with it? Just let it go straight away. It makes such a difference. Again, it's all stress related. There's no magic bottle potion you can spread on a fish that's gonna sort that out. Um, quite often you'll catch a fish this time of year. If it's feeding, nine times out of 10, there's not a great deal wrong with it, but at the same time, they're very, very delicate, especially bigger, older fish. Uh, not just carp, but you know, anything really. So rather than get it out and still go through the motions and stick it on a mat and start chucking buckets of water over it which takes too long anyway just get in the water it's really warm unhook it and let it go you're doing you're doing the fish a lot lot more favors from, by doing that than you ever are getting it out of the water um, you'll never see pictures of us out of the water with fish unless we absolutely have to but yeah it is a bit of a worry um, try not to have an eject reaction and start you know the more the more sometimes it's best just to look at what's going on testing is vital the more you can test the water the more you can go down with test kits accurate test kits test the oxygen test all the water quality parameters if you'd have been doing that in the spring and keep doing it you know your fishery manager that's a bailiff's job a fishery manager's job it's all very well just going fishing if you're a bailiff but you need to step up really especially this time of year constantly walking around the lake constantly looking to see what's going on and monitoring the water quality because you'll preempt things you'll see things happening and you'll be able to do something about it we're going about this all the time but these things are what you need to understand you know loads of places will sail through the summer and it'll be fine definitely helps if you if your fisheries managed if, you, if your stock controls in place if you, if you if you understand your relative biomass and your cropping sometimes you need to crop fish sometimes you need to stop feeding sometimes you need to feed more all those things are part of running a fishery um, so yeah it is going to be a hot week there are already people struggling um, but just be a bit sensible try not to have too much of a uh, you know, certainly you wouldn't want to be putting fish in when it's like this. Certainly, you wouldn't want to be. Um, it, it, everywhere's different, you know. On a little lake, if it, the, the first thing you do is close close the fishing, really limit the stress. And a lot of people don't even do that. They just think, well, it's, it's one of those things. But yeah, it's certainly worth bearing in mind. So just um, take it easy. It's very, very hot. It's going to get really, really hot in the next few days. And some places, unfortunately, are really going to struggle. And the water quality, the clarity of the water here has changed overnight. Um, and as this algae that's now forming on the surface dies, it will make the water coloured. But the water quality, I've just tested the oxygen again. I've done it three times in the last 24 hours. It's absolutely fine. Um, but there's no wind today. Um, and those things, again, are going to have a, a detrimental effect to the water quality in some circumstances. But everywhere's different. But the most important thing you can do is monitor. You know, get yourself water quality test kits. Get down there. Test water around the lake. And then at least then if you, if you do ring people like me, you've got some information to back it up with because people just ring up and say, oh, it's really hot. Are the fish OK? Well, you know, there's not a lot you can do unless you've got some information. So test the water um, and think, you know, now try and get yourself out of trouble with, 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 with limited aeration and bits and pieces you can do and stop the fishing. But long term, start to have committee meetings, start to think about what you can do long term. And uh, there's no magic potion that's going to save you long term. It's, it's working with the lake, working with nature and sorting it out and coming up with a plan. And that's that's what it's all about really but yeah we always uh, it's never nice to to hear of people losing fish and it does happen and it does happen this time of year but um there are ways to solve it there are ways to sort it out but most of it unfortunately is long term so the more you've done last year year before building up and safeguarding the future of your stocks and the future of your fishery you know half the time we we go to these places on consultancy visits and, and working the fish stocks aren't the problem 
half the time it's it's the surrounding environment it's the immediate environment that you can you can manipulate and change to your benefit you know and and those things are really really overlooked in favor of what one or two anglers might like well unfortunately you've got to do what's best for the lake what's best for the stock and what's best for the future of the fishery otherwise you're going to lose it but you know it's not all doom and gloom loads of places will fish their heads off in the next week but just bear in mind not everyone's in the same boat so try and be sympathetic help each other out and um you know good luck in the next few weeks because it's going to be a tough one